We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Uh, Bobby. Bobby has decided to take our advice for his roughly 12 by 12 foot theater room and add the Clips R14 surround on wall speakers to his front three Clips speakers while using the outdoor speaker de- depot in ceiling speakers for the Atmos positions. The last piece of his audio puzzle is subs. Excuse me. He tried some different spots with this old subwoofer's phone that he had some dead spots in the seats, so he wants to know, so he knows he wants dual subs. He is considering dual SVS PB1000s, but he'd like to know if there are any less expensive alternatives that are just as good Are the PB1000s overkill. for? Aren't they overkill? Shouldn't he just get the SB1000s? I mean, it's mm. real close. It's real close. 12 by 12 by what, like 8? Yeah. I mean, I mean seems so close. There's no difference in price. The PB1000s probably can play louder than you, but it's to me, it's all about getting that actual 20 hertz output. And yeah, really, I know. there are no. But they're complete... so much bigger. They're so much bigger. They are so much. This bigger. is a dedicated theater. I mean, why not? Does he want to spend less, or does he doesn't care about the money? He cares about the he'd money. He'd like to spend less if it's possible. If if there's something just as good for less, he'd go for that. I don't really think there is. I, can't I, think I don't of know anything. of any subs that genuinely play down to twenty hertz for less than five hundred dollars. I mean, other than something that you might build yourself. That, that the could car, exist. The car subwoofer. You should just get a car, car <laughs> subwoofer. Try. You have to be throw careful in your choice. It, throw it in the box. Any but if box. you just want to go Cardboard. buy a subwoofer that genuinely plays down to 20 hertz, the PB1000s are about the cheapest way to get there. And if you get duels, it's actually you get a little discount, right? You get a $50 discount for getting duels. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Yeah, right, 10%, something like that. Yeah, so I mean, to me, they're the right choice. I mean, yes, are they overkill in the sense that they can actually play even louder than you truly need? Okay, yes, but... To hit 20 hertz, that's, that's what you need. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to spend $400 instead and get a subwoofer that plays down to 25 hertz instead of 20, I got no beef with that. If you're like, hey, I would like to save that money and I'm fine with 25 hertz extension, you got uh, RSL with their Speed Woofer 10. Right. Uh, you got HSU with their VTF1. Right. Uh, you got Emotiva with their, uh, their BaseX S12. Right, all uh, four hundred dollar subs. subs that pay down to about twenty five hertz, uh, totally subs. fine, right? But if you want to do twenty hertz, PB one thousands. That's that's my take. Yeah, if you want to go smaller, you can go to SB two thousands. But those are like what, eight, more money, eight hundred bucks, right? Something like that. Eight hundred <laughs> yeah, bucks for those. Considerably more money. I know. I'm just saying. Could be a lot smaller. Those things are big. <laughs> Once your question answered, send it to question at avrant.com. A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.